and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Brom in the gauntlet. First time we're going to be playing a gauntlet video for YouTube. Uh, and also later on the Fiora alone deck, we're going to be playing that in a gauntlet as well. Uh, if you don't know what gauntlets are, they are a new uh, kind of weekend format that's available here and we'll, we'll show it uh, more, but usually available Fridays through Mondays where you play until you either win seven games or you lose two in a row, whatever happens first. So you don't want to lose two in a row. Um, so th this video is most likely going to be longer than our normal video. Unless we don't do very well, then it could be really short. I suppose if we just lose our first two, <laughs> then it could be pretty short. But anyway, we're going to be playing Vladimir Braum. We had fun with this deck <clears throat> before the first day whenever Braum was changed. Let's try it again, because yeah, we have upgraded Vladimir that now uh, has the ability to drain the opponent. We have upgraded Braum. That's a lot better. And so putting those two together with all these cool Crimson cards that are pretty fun to play. Um, and uh, yeah, we got a deck. It's not it's not necessarily like the most powerful kind of deck, but it's, it's, consistent. it's very consistent. It's pretty aggressive and um, has some really good sizing with these units. You can, you can play some very large units quickly so that's what our deck's all about and we don't have the, the most card advantage um and like i said it's not like the the, the most powerful but it's uh consistent strong and works pretty well um yeah basically have a harsh winds here just to really help win combat sometimes it's just harsh winds is just a great card um definitely have kind of debated between a whole lot of different uh top end cards there's so many good ones I mean, maybe it should be captain farron yeah like there's so many good cards that you can be playing in these regions that if, if you have something else that you really like that you want to change it up uh you know feel free to do that could be another fury of the north also um but yeah i'm going with going with the harsh winds uh it's just really versatile whether you want to use it on offense defense um that kind of stuff all right, let's give this a try. So yeah, so a standard gauntlet. Um, we used we used this stuff last time because these were brand new, but we'll use our Reckoner's Arena um, and our Freljord, and we'll keep on Yip. All right, select this deck. All right, so yeah, so we're gonna play until we either win seven or we lose two in a row. Um, and we'll see what happens first. Yeah, I like Starlet Seer. I like Starlet Seer a lot. Um, yeah, so yeah, you said you're playing that with Shared Spoils. Um, yeah, as long as you can, you know, pretty consistently turn on Shared Spoils. Uh, that's also another strong card, so... Yeah, both those cards are awesome. Um, not bad to play those at all. Vladimir Swain. Hmm... This hand doesn't look bad at all. But it's like a, just a bunch of three th three mana cards. Okay, I like having a two mana card. You know, Noxus with Ionia? Like, I don't know if this is... You know, it's Vladimir Swain, but I don't know if that... Like, the Ionia is kind of weird. I don't know if that means they're going to be playing Elusives. And they're just playing these champions in an Elusive deck. And so, therefore, if they're playing elusives, then like Ember Maiden could be really good. Hmm. That Death Lotus looks really good. Yeah, we're just gonna Death Lotus next turn. And then basically I wanted to play a 3-drop. So I didn't play the Ruthless Raider last turn, so I could play a 3-drop this turn. I'll just go with the Crimson Curator. I could double up on these 2s with Disciple and Raider. Try 
fight or die. For the Empire. Make the Empire proud. It's nothing personal. Alright, well, good start for them. Let's get a good look at you. Good start for them. Your path ends here. And I like getting Crimson Disciple off the battlefield, especially whenever I have an Ember Maiden. It's a scary card. What do we got here? Hmm. These Legion Marauders pretty good. Oh. That makes life a little worse. Advent. Come here, handsome. Hello, dear. What have you got us into now? Look what I found. My original plan, I wish I didn't play this card. My original plan was take heart this, have those trade, have one of these, put this down to one, and then have Ember Maiden finish them off. Um, still kind of do that plan, I suppose. I just play Ember Maiden on my attacking turn. Because I don't want... I could block with both Curators and then have Ember Maiden kind of kill everything, but I don't want... I mean, that would kill all of my stuff. I, I want a Curator to still give me another Crimson card. Okay, that's good. Ugh, I can't play Braum, though. Yeah, I guess I can't play Braum. If I play Braum, I don't get to play Ember Maiden. I need to play Ember Maiden. But I would have used Braum to challenge the Legion Drummer. Put that down to one also. really good <laughs> you know a real underrated card there that harsh winds uh, I'll save I'm gonna save this crimson um, aristocrat for the Braum Card, it's pretty good. It's just blood, dog. <sighs> Victory requires a sharp blade. You'll find no glory here, fool. All right, so that thing can't block. Um, the bloodier, 
the better. <laughs> it's not me. It's you. They block. You know, a three. Take seven, go to one. Gaze upon me. In theory. Cool. And so all we need to do is just get gain priority again, basically. If we gain priority, we can kill them. If we gain priority with... Like, basically, if they play anything pre-combat, we win. Okay. So just play something. Come on. Just cast something. Pre-combat. Don't just go to attacks. Cast something pre-combat. Yeah. Wait. No. Yes. Ha 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 ha. They did that incorrectly. I love a man with style. Heard it all. Don't keep Crimson Disciple out there when you're at one. What you doing? Pretty interesting deck from the opponent, though. You know, lots of... Uh, Alright, we got our first win. Lots of aggressive stuff. You know, having, like, the double Legion Saboteur, the double one drop in turn one. Bunch of aggressive stuff. And then, basically, they're splashing Ionia for Mina Swiftfoot. What it looked like. See, so, you know, like, they had the Noxious Allegiance card. Splashing for Mina Swiftfoot. All right, well, I like having Crimson Disciple and then Crimson Curator on turns two and three. And not having it, not having anything on turn one, so we get the Elixir of Iron to protect it. Harsh Winds is the worst card in my deck for this matchup, so it's unfortunate to draw that. Oh. Hmm. I wasn't really expecting that. I want to let those trade. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see what happens. I think we're just gonna let these trade. I don't. I don't think I use the elixir of iron for two damage. I, I'd rather have elixir of iron protect crimson curator. And it's better to play Omen Hawk as early as you can. So we'll we'll go Omen Hawk plus Raider this turn. The winter's claw strikes. Alright, five damage in. I will play my part. It's a good card to hit with both Omen Hawks. Yeah. Heimerdinger is always a problem. Maybe they don't have Heimerdinger. What do I think of Poro Braum? I, I mean, I guess it depends on like what kind of Poro Braum you're talking about, but um, why do they have to always have Heimerdinger? But uh, yeah, Poro, Poro Braum has a lot of good stuff going for it. Um, so I go straight to attacks. I'll play this first. 
They're going to use some kind of defensive element on this. Braum. Whether it's, you know, Will of Ionia or whatever, but... Okay, so right now, Braum's still at zero. One suffers another. There's fashionably late, and then there's this. Oh, got some Crimson Disciples. Yes, yes, again! We have to actually spend mana on our things, though. It's not, we're not Heimerding or good, getting everything for free. This will level up Vladimir. And give it... Give it regen. I was hoping to be able to use that transfusion later. I know it's a Vladimir transfusion, but I was hoping to be able to use that later. Um, you know, like, that's a good card to use with Braum. Get another Mighty Poro for free, or, like, these Crimson Disciples. Just get so many free turrets. So many free four ones. So what, you want me just to recast? Like the thing is, is it's it's basically putting Vladimir in play but for two mana instead of five mana, plus we get the, the Crimson Curator trigger. Oh, the static shock would have just leveled up the Vlad though. Mm. Oh, you're right. And then so then it wouldn't have died. Oh, yeah, you're right, because yeah, cause then it has three health now, and it would have land. Yeah, you're right, okay. So then I could have had Braum plus something else. Yeah, you're right, you're right. How can Braum help? Fire! Yes, yes, I'm kind of assuming they attack. Uh, I'm blocking with the 3-1. For sure, probably the 3-2 also. We're just going to be blocking with these. Which, that's kind of good for me. I wanted to clear up space. But yeah, you're right. So yeah, I didn't have to cast that transfusion. I could have saved it. Hmm. Nine mana. Basically get to play three cards. Let me show you what I can do. Blood isn't a toy, dear. People are
No. Redinger is my least favorite card. It truly is my least favorite card. I have the bank. I need the reputation. Mm, such rich blood. First we fast over your best. mind the hybrid it's not the hybridinger is difficult to kill it's that you shouldn't you shouldn't be able to get so much free so many free bodies and power and toughness with one card that costs zero mana like that's this is just ridiculous they played three four ones a three one two five twos and a nine nine all for zero mana Like that's just not that's, that's just not reasonable. Like I don't under, I don't understand this card. It's not reasonable at all. I don't get it. Advent. Come here, handsome. Hello, dear. What have you got us into now? So people say that they want the elusive turret to cost four. They've gotten five, <laughs> four mana. Like there's so many good four mana cards. No, I don't have any Noxion Fervors. I need to be attacking the other way around. Frequently happens against Heimer Deer and Dex where they get, you know, like 40 plus total power and toughness for free across so many bodies. Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I, I think that I think the turrets need to cost like like one mana at least. At least have the, the turrets cost one mana. Costing zero is just not not reasonable. No, it's not that, that, that so many good spells are three mana. That's not a problem. People say make the elusive turret four, and I don't think that, that makes it any better. There's so many good spells at four mana also. I think you'd want the elusive turret to be like one the one mana thing. Just 
little one ones or something. But I mean, like that game, my opponent didn't play like any elusive. Like they had one elusive that game, I think. Yeah, just one. Elusives aren't really. I mean, it's it's a deeper issue with the card than what the just having elusives there. Um, yeah, just keep both Brahms. Like, usually you don't really keep two of a champion. Well, this is going to be an aggressive deck. Brahms should be really good. Uh, the cha Brahms champion spell is really nice with the take heart. Um, if we have the one Brahm surviving, if they have a, a culling strike uh, kind of removal spell for one Brahm, we'll have a backup. Exactly. Yeah, it's just a yeah. It's a good example of bad card design. Yeah, like the, it's just a it's a poorly designed card. You could do that. You could do yeah. The first turret's free. Then the next one costs mana. Then, and next one costs more mana. It that's a, just takes a lot of wording and everything like on the card and it. And then that could be kind of confusing, and um, they haven't really shown like that. There's not really any other card like that that has uh, like incremental increases in mana cost or changing mana cost like that. He said a, a developer said that we're supposed to be using more culling strikes to counter, like that that's our fault. That's just silly. Destruction feeds my fire. <clears throat> Use one removal spell in one region. That's your answer. That's a... Taking a lot of damage here to get the value with Ember Maiden. Cost of a lot of a lot of damage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> they just use twin disciplines plus three plus zero, get the elusive turret. Like twin disciplines is very very common to have with Heimerdinger. That's a that's an calling strikes in a is a really poor answer to Heimerdinger. It's not reliable whatsoever. That's That's just a This is fun, yes? It's pretty lazy. To say just use calling strike. For how good For how good uh, the development team has been doing and balancing everything and, and they've been doing such a great job and like all of the the patch updates have been so good I just find it I find it difficult to to believe that they actually that they would actually believe that pulling strike would be the answer to Heimerdinger does that make sense does that make sense Maybe, you know, like, you know, it's possible that, like, a developer, you know, said, you know, said that at, for whatever question, but I, I can't, I have a hard time believing that as, like, a, a an entire team that that's, like, their stance, that's, what like, what they believe with, with Heimerdinger, that people just need to play more calling strikes, that doesn't, 
Yeah, I, I, have, I have a hard time believing it. Okay. Karma is. Don't see that deck as much anymore. Um, could just get rid of all of these pump spells. But these, these spells can be good against damage-based removal, which Ezreal decks usually have. I'm just going to get rid of all of them, though. If I had... Okay, see, Transfusion was the one that I wanted to keep the most out of any of them. Because of Transfusion's ability to just trigger this. But I just didn't have guaranteed, like, other bodies, right? And... So I just mulliganed all of them, thinking that maybe we would draw another spell or two and, and another body or two. Um, if we had two bodies, I would have been keeping the transfusion just fine. You got seven wins with Twisted Fate Karma. Cool. That's a good deck. Works out. You act, but do not see. You lack subtlety. Cyber! Extending tier one sub through August. Y'all, let's get that high. Thank you, Cyber. Awesome. Ezreal. Hey, just play more calling strikes, right? Um. Let's see, they can deny. I mean, is it that bad if this hits me and then they Mystic Shot something? They, like, what, like, Mystic Shot Omen Hawk? That's probably not that bad, right? I'm just gonna call and strike. And Cyber's Gift in Nemote to Dewan. Ugh, that didn't work. I probably should just play my four mana five six. I thought you'd never ask. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. <laughs> that didn't work. Breathe in, breathe out. Young fight for glory. I fought for Thank legacy. you, Cyber. Thank you. And yeah, Dewan's a big big part of the, the stream in here, so that's really nice. I fight with my spirits, not my fists. I this is gonna be really difficult to get through, honestly. Play multiple spells on their their turn to get those draggling bodies. This is going to be difficult to get through. I don't miss. Um, I don't know. Let's see. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work. Like Ember Maiden round start with I the Dragon round start. I'm not exactly sure how that would work. I keep it alive, it's a it's a five one. Don't 
have don't have any good plays. That's the card I need. You think the the person who presses end turn goes first on a round start? So you're saying you think that... I mean, so not the person with the attack token, so that would be the other person? Yeah, we could find out for science here with this Ember Maiden. Destruction feeds my fire. I guess we might as well find out. It'll be interesting to know. Sometimes I see hot just needs warm spot. Yeah, you're right. You are correct. And that assessment. The only card that saves their Ezreal is Will of Ionia, so just gotta hope they don't have that card. Or I uh, guess Concussive Palm, I guess that works too. Suppose that works too. So I'm down to four. Put them down to two. Think hard. Think strong. No. Nice to put them down to two. You better bleed. Game. Of course. 
us. We are still friends. Uh, we weren't one and two, were we? We were two and two. Now we're two and three. I, I guess I didn't up update that after the last one. Is that right? Or are we are we two and two now? I don't know. We have two wins. Do the losses even matter in this thing? I guess we're two and three. I guess we went loss, win, loss, win, loss. Yeah. What, what, was I two and one? Did I did I just did, did I just update the wrong column? I might. Okay. Yeah. Y'all are saying. I think I just updated the loss instead of the win. Okay. So. Okay, it was win, loss, win. Okay, so we are two and two now. Okay, I just put the... Yeah, I, I did the update in the wrong column last time. Mm, I mean, I like these cards. This looks just fine to me. I think these big uh, blockers could be pretty important. Um What do you what do you mean does Gauntlet have matchmaking? Like it it does in the fact that you just play against a random opponent. You just play against somebody random. I don't like I don't think there's any kind of I don't think there's any kind of special matchmaking in Gauntlet. I would assume you just play against somebody else who signed up for Gauntlet also. Yeah, I don't think there's any kind of skill matchmaking. That'd be tough to determine. I guess they would look at like whatever your rank is and then try to face you with other people in the rank. They may just you may get tried you may get paired against other people with like similar amounts of wins in the Gauntlet. That would make a lot of sense. Um the winter's claw strikes. Victory at any cost. <sighs> That's probably like the best way to do it is like if you, you know, you have zero wins, they try to parry against you. other people with zero wins, but it's not going to just you know, if you have five wins, try to parry against other people with five wins. But it wouldn't just sit around for... Um, forever. Um, waiting on that. And so, you know, like maybe if you have four, four wins, for example, maybe you get paired against somebody with three, four, or five, you know, pairs you with somebody close. What do you want? Real tough, aren't you? So playing the Crimson Awakener saved me the most damage possible. Blocking with that. I know I could have blocked with my 3 1. I would have taken more damage and then I had a, a fresh 5 5. Um, but I say I just saved the most damage I could. I've dressed for the occasion. Cool. 
I'll take that pass. Mm, such rich blood. Man, they're still passing. What do they have in hand? Fight or die. Yeah, whatever. I am absolutely lost. Timing is everything. What do they have in hand? Transfusions. Unfortunately for them, I have done that with transfusion a bunch of times. That thing wasn't actually blocked. Um, it doesn't actually count as being blocked. And then this one doesn't work. They should have done it in front of this because this has overwhelm. Um, so yeah, they're just they're just pretty dead. Like all four, all four of these are still doing damage to them. Thanks, Cabo. Yeah, I try to have a really nice community, and I mean it's, it's, that's that's you know all of all of you. You guys are awesome. Um. Yeah, that was that was just pretty unfortunate for our opponent, right? Like that that's just mistakes. I've I've made that mistake multiple times with the transfusion. But then, you know, so they had that one and then yeah, then putting the other blocker in front of the overwhelm. Ugh, that's not really where you want to put that one either. Okay, so we're playing against um Elu the uh, Noxus Elusive is a very good deck, very aggressive deck. I like the Ember Maiden. I'm going to put back the Crimson Awakener, just how it's, you know, four mana card. Um, it is a good card, though. This would be a good matchup to draw Death Lotus. I am, I am glad we have the attack to token turn one, turn three. Hang on, Buzzball. So they only get one attack before uh, Ember Maiden. The problem is, is they could just... Uh, I want them to play something else. They could just pass. Perfect. I didn't want to lead with Ember Maiden, and then they play the 4-3 Elusive and pick these back up. We got him. Yeah, the, the Hawk didn't count as a block because... Basically because uh, Transfusion is burst speed. So because it's burst speed, it happens basically before blocks, so even though you set it in front, but the burst speed oh, uh, makes it happen first. It is unfortunate. I'll try oh, I can't wait. oh gosh. This Ember Maiden's now going to just do us a bunch of damage. Do I have to transfusion and kill my own Ember Maiden? Keep from taking four damage. Maybe I do. Yuck. I 
Probably do. pretty awkward. Let none disturb my meditation. Ha! Leave nothing standing. My turn. As fate wills. Look what you <sighs> Get him! Well, let me show you what I can do. Got those crimson disciples. Out of there, and then Ember Maiden. That was pretty nice. This is these ever made these these ever have really done some work both of these times. Um, yeah, they've helped a lot. Question is, do I just transfusion yet again and kill them yet again? I guess so. That thing makes me want to play Braum first to challenge that so that that thing doesn't kill my three ones, my ruthless raiders. Drew! Oh, thank you so much. Really good stream. All the best. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Drew. Thanks for the bits. I appreciate that. Let's get a good look at you. them, eight for me. I would say they're they're probably the favorite to win. Eight damage doesn't seem that difficult to deal. Yeah, especially having that card. They're probably the favorite to win now. Oh, I can't wait. Let me show you what I can do. Yeah, um, but hopefully no decimates or you know, anything like that, or other four, four damage from other elusives. Dread lightly, strike hard. Anything like that. I feel like I needed to maybe just keep my. I, I feel like that transfusion play actually just backfired on me. Like the second transfusion play, killing that. Whenever I have the four or five already in play, um, I could have, uh, you know, could have granted like these other things plus one plus zero um, and dealt damage to them. Even though I would have taken four right there, I felt like I needed to kind of go for the win. 
I don't know. They could have they could have just done some more blocking though, so it wasn't. Are we gonna play like a thirteen game? <laughs> We're gonna play like thirteen games here to get through this gauntlet. This is gonna be like a five hour video. Get a win and a loss, win and a loss, win and a loss. This this may just be a like a beginning deck, a beginner deck, maybe. Not on I don't see very much Vanguard lookout. Is that all? My journey continues. Fight or die. It's, it's the elites. With Trindamir. Magic has no place here. Mm. I serve for decades, and you call on me now. Magic yeah. has no place here. A fight! Is this the death you imagined? What are they doing? You must be Lord Vladimir. And you must really love that transfusion draw that we get to play with that uh, with that extra two mana that we have. So whichever one they block with Vanguard Lookout, we can save. Who will stand with us? Won't pass okay, these well, we can't save them both. So we will save... I mean, Legion Veteran's bigger. This thing does some more damage. Probably want to save just the bigger thing. No, nah, we'll just save Crimson Disciple. Crimson Disciple is pretty good. Plus, I guess it's not really like it's smaller because the... I guess it's the same size now because the uh, Legion Veteran does grant this plus two plus zero. Actually, it's not even smaller. So yeah, that was just a good choice. Just a good choice. Round six. My strength is yours. Dang. Pass. Well, pass back to me. But why? But why? I'm just gonna let damage happen. the regen, we don't have to worry about the Vladimir dying. And that's another three. Don't even need to attack.
Get that XP bonus. Yeah, that was a rookie opponent. No, I won't be. No, I don't. I don't really have any desire to play Hearthstone. That will not happen. All right, Shanna Fiora. Hmm. Death Lotus is gone. I wouldn't mind some protection against Fiora. But we need to draw more units as well. Uh, I'm gonna keep both of these though. I think that these protection spells, they're, I think they can be pretty valuable in a combat uh, driven match like this will likely be. I could definitely see them trading, like wanting to just attack and trade, but we have the Elixir of Iron. Telling my opponent I have transfusion. This will not take long. And they're still willing to block. A delicious challenge. Okay, we'll take that. Trade Transfusion for War Chefs and Laurent Protégé. Oh yeah, oh I guess we traded we traded uh, Ruthless Raider also. So we traded two for two, Transfusion and Ruthless Raider for those two, plus we dealt one damage. Slow down, will you? Brom is on the job. Man, Brom looks good. Right there. Stand behind Brom. Thank you. I will take that. Sure. Get your damage in. Go ahead. It is easy. See? This is fun, yes? Hmm. That's unfortunate. But still, Brom. So Brom traded for Repost, and um, for Repost and half of you know Grizzled Ranger, you know, and the Grizzled Ranger, half of of that card. Plus, also gave us a Mighty Poro. Um, plus, helped us get six damage in. So Brom did a lot. Brom did a lot. That's a good draw. Oh, would Elixir have saved Brom? Oh, I guess it would. I, for some reason, I didn't think. I thought that. I thought they had two others. I, <laughs> sometimes I do that. Just miss something you're playing. Uh, you know, playing while streaming. I I thought that it was still gonna die through Elixir, but no, you're right. Cause yeah, that's six health. Elixir would put that to seven. You know, six damage. Elixir would put that to seven. Yeah, I missed that. Could have kept it alive. No need to play this Crimson Curator. Let's just see what, what happens and see if I need the Harsh Winds this turn. Yeah, yeah. Kind of see what happens. Yeah, y'all are, are all saying Elixir. My... Bad. Hmm. Man with stuff. 
before. Well, that worked out. Could have bounce spells as far as getting rid of the 5-5 five five goes. So I don't think I should just go all in on the 5-5. Five five. This will kill them and spread it out over a few other cards. I do like this card against Misfortune. I like Elixir of Iron protecting Crimson Disciple. I don't mind this 4-drop at all. It's a good 4-drop on curve, but do we mulligan it because it is a 4-mana card? And I guess that answer is yes. Even though I already had something to do like with my turn 1. Mana with the Elixir of Iron, my turn 2 with the Crimson Disciple, my turn 3 with the Falling Strike. I mean, they just turned Warning Shot into, you know, it's just a draw one, basically. Just zero, you know, zero mana, draw one. So it just replaced itself. Come here, handsome. Hello, dear. <laughs> yeah. Von Yip's very talkative. Vanya is very talkative. Every time, like, you know, we take damage or we deal damage, like all that kind of stuff. Looking for trouble? It found you. It's nothing personal.
So I could do four damage to them by blocking with Crimson Dis Disciple, or draw two cards by blocking with Crimson Curator. You know, we get to kind of choose which one we want, either draw two cards or deal four damage. And I'll just take the two cards. Actually, could get the four mana five five that does one damage to everything, which could be which could be worth four damage with these Crimson Disciples. Yeah, that card. Ooh, that's gonna be worth a lot of damage. Hmm. So I do want to calling strike this misfortune. Maybe I just lead with this for now. You must teach me when you have to uses my mana better. So they had all three black market merchants. Yeah, the crimson cards are fun. They are fun. Hey, got a donation deck. And my my Streamlabs cannot really handle the the long codes <laughs> for the donation deck, so the messages look pretty silly. Let me uh, see what what that said and what that was. Um. Okay, it was from Yoda. All right, we got code for a donation deck. Awesome, thank you, Yoda. Do you have any if? If you have any preference on like any day, specific day you want me to play it, you know, feel free to let me know. Um, if it's a meme tier deck, I'll be playing it tomorrow. Otherwise, we'll play it on Tuesday. Yeah, we're going to have a long stream today with these gauntlets. Yeah, at least we're not playing our own merchant, so they don't get to steal merchant from us. Did that thing cost two mana? Oh, they stole my Fury of the North? I only have one Fury of the North. I guess they stole it from me. Okay, tomorrow. Yep, play it tomorrow. Awesome. All right, will do. Tomorrow I have an early stream. Okay, yeah, especially it's your birthday. Definitely. I have an early uh, early stream tomorrow, you know, like basically the same time that we started this stream, uh, which was two and a half hours ago. And I'm playing four decks. So do you want, do you want it first, second, third, or fourth? I will be able to, I'll play it any of those, whatever, whichever spot you want. Your choice. Oh, you're welcome, Freelancer. Yeah, that Elnuk deck was pretty sweet. Let me show you what I can do. Yes, yeah, so that's not too bad getting two Fury of the Norse out on defense, right? Like that's not too bad for us. Could be worse. All right, I'll play it in the third slot tomorrow. Sounds great. Oh, 
Oh, I, I, I think it was, yeah, I, I'm not saying that it was bad for my opponent to play those. I'm just saying that that's, it wasn't too bad for us um, because of uh, how good Fury of the North can be. That's pretty bad for us. They had my transfusion to save that. That's pretty bad for us. That was a really good turn for them. So they had six mana. For six mana, they played a Ruthless Raider and an Island Navigator and a Transfusion. It's a good turn. Let's get a good look at you. All right, Kosh, what, what pet would you like me to change it to? Deem the change of pet. Yeah, I didn't block the five. I guess I didn't block the five damage misfortune because it would misfortune would stay at three three, and then this thing would still be a two four. Um, blocking this puts this down to a two two. It makes like attacking and blocking later. It makes combat a lot easier for me. Um, their five five misfortune would still be a three three. Anyway. This isn't going to work out too well for us, though. It's nothing personal. I've never had I've never had this before. Uh, yeah. So, Ka okay, Kosh, what what pet did you want me to change it to? When you redeem the points for the change the pet. And then Liberian redeem points to keep the pet the same. I still want to change. 
I want to at least change it for one game to whatever Kosh wanted and play one game like that, and then we'll play one game back to... Or, you know, then we'll go back to Vaughn, yep. Whenever you redeem the change of pet, does it let you just... Does it let you type anything? Does it let you type what pet you want to change it to in the message? Or does it not let you... Change that. Okay, Kosh wanted the eagle. Okay, it does not let you. I need to figure out how to have it let you do that. Okay. There we go. I figured it out. The rest of them, you got to enter text, but not that one. Okay. So that now that you should be able to type in text now. Um. I've embarrassed fools twice your size. It's the only block I can make to stay alive. I I don't even stay alive. I have a warning shot. They're doing that during combat because of the three mana three three gain three life they could have after afterwards. Uh, can I have a drop list that you could select from the list? I'm not sure. All right, so we're gonna do uh, Kasha's Eagle. Nah, this game's not too hard. I don't. I don't think there is like a, a drop list like that. I can in the in the description that there is. I could list them off in the description. All right, Kordak, you're gonna do the change the pet afterwards for the shark. All right, so y'all have to kind of help remind me. So then we're going back to Vanyup next game, and then the shark the game after. I'm playing this to try to kill the Teemo. I like I like this deck that my opponent's playing. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I, I like this this Teemo Sejuani deck is good.
We've played a lot of Orog Glinthorn in meme tier in the last few meme tier Mondays. It's a card that a lot of people have been a lot of donation decks have had Orog Glinthorn in it. Um, I haven't really found the card to be better than playing. Uh, yeah, like I feel like it's better just to be playing all the the champions that are great in these uh, regions. I haven't found the card to be too spectacular, but uh, yeah, it's a very popular one. Uh... So to answer the question, have we played against it? Uh, yeah, the answer would be yes, we've played against it quite a bit. Um... All right, so I'm basically I'm going with Crimson Awakener route, so I still so I can kind of save two mana for transfusion. Blessed by snow and stars. Yeah, that's kind of how it is. It's. Kind of an unnecessary play card. Finding details is my duty. Come, Clara, we have much to teach you. I can't wait. They're just giving me as many puff caps and getting as many Starlet Seer triggers as they can. Slank. Okay, spot. Yeah, Vladimir. Get some draining in. Got a lot of these trail of evidences. So I can play the other Crimson Disciple and get more damage in on them. Uh, but then I only have like just Transfusion available, or I could just go straight to attacks and have Transfusion plus Elixir of Iron. So I have like two ways to be able to protect stuff, which I kind of like that. I'm gonna do that. I want to have two protection spells. Because yeah, I figured we'd need one for the Vladimir against the 7-3, and then get another one in here for something else. Hmm. Looks like we'll just need the one for the Vladimir. I... Yeah, we can't really we can't really save Crimson Disciple because it, it's going to be taking four damage. So, just the one for the Vladimir. Good. But checking in case they have like another Mystic Shot, we're going to try to kill Vladimir still. What's the point of that? I guess. Should really want that Peddler and Starlet Seer trigger. Their next unit that they draw is going to be very large. They've cast a lot of spells. You know, they cast the the uh, oh, that only got one Starlet Seer trigger. 
Yeah, they've been casting a lot of spells then. Their next thing's gonna be very large. Let me show you what I can do. Oh, we got harsh winds, so it's all good. Yeah, I don't I I feel like my opponent wasted a lot of cards. Not a, a big fan of how they played this. I don't really like the Trail of Evidence, but I do like that deck. I don't think they played it that well. By all means, get in my way. Ride onward! Harsh winds. Oh, that's true. I could have killed the Sejuani with Culling Strike. I didn't even think about that. That's true. Could have. Still be just fine, though. All right, final battle. We only get the one chance to get that seventh win. Final battle style. Oh, 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 cancel, cancel, cancel. No, I didn't change the pet. I remember to change these pets. Too late. Thanks, Liberian. Yeah, because we have to go. We have to go back. You know, so we got plenty more games. You know, like so we're just going. We're going two games here. Uh, elusives, huh? Gonna be a tough one to win. But I like this hand besides having Omen Hawk, which. Have we even played turn one Omen Hawk? Oh, yeah, I guess we did. <clears throat> I guess we did like last game. So I shouldn't complain. Quietly. But not very often. Have a turn one Omen Hawk. This again would have been a lot better if we had the attack token turn one, turn three, so they would only have one attack before the Ember Maiden, again, like we talked about before. But they're going to have two attacks before Ember Maiden. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. Which really, I guess all that's doing is just like another two damage. It's not that bad. Can't imagine they just passed turn, right? Destroy. 
destruction feeds my fire. Mm. It's gonna be some some big units. Big units. Yeah, we had we had to change the pet to go to this. Crimson Disciple. They're not bad, Crimson Disciple, but we're just going to go straight to combat. Yeah, we're just going straight to combat. saying this is game maybe think hard. Think strong. yeah I don't think Just this thing has to be a 4-2. Alright, so we're going to... We're going to fear the north this thing. We're going to overwhelm that thing. I'm going to keep this one mana available. Puts them down to three. I wish we were putting them down to two so we'd have the ability to draw um, so we'd have the ability to, to have like uh, transfusion <clears throat> kill them. If only we had one less life and a transfusion. <laughs> good hand. They had they had a very good hand. You know, one drop, Green Glade duo. Not stopping there. Omen Hawk shared spoils, 4-4, four, four, Shadow Assassin. See, Wright said you gotta play more calling strikes. Right? That's what we talked about. Gotta play more calling strikes. Well, didn't work all right but there we go so that's our first gauntlet um we ended up six and five so didn't quite get that seven win we're gonna try again um later on with the fiora alone will be another gauntlet then all right those y'all watching this video later on youtube hit that like button over there uh feel free to leave those comments let me know what you've been doing with the gauntlets you know how, how do you like these gauntlets you know like what do you think of them uh you know next time Next week, we're going to have another gauntlet with Singleton, so that'll be fun. We'll be doing, um, you know, like a gauntlet day next week. Uh, 
Yeah, so we're gonna have a long list, or sorry, a long stream today. Um, but that's okay. I don't have like other plans today, so like we're good. We're gonna be streaming for a while. All right. Anyway, thank you so much for watching some Vladimir Brom in the Gauntlet, going through the Gauntlet here. But anyway, I uh, thanks again for watching. I'll see you for the next video.